Welcome back to the videos guys. I'm out on the road bike in the woods with my brand new aero haircut. Why am I in the woods on my road bike? Because I'm trying to get it dirty. Today's video is the five minute bike clean. Problem today is that it's like 30 degrees and it hasn't rained in the last few days and it's been over 20 for all of those as well. So not much mud around, not many puddles. I'll figure out a way to make it dirty. The woods did a fairly good job. It's dusty and I ain't cleaned the chain in a while. Now I was going to take the gravel bike out and take some sick footage from my new gimbal which was there. It's not there anymore because I think I got scammed on eBay. So I noticed a little screw had come loose on the side and then it fell on the floor while I was riding. I did manage to find it again even though it was like a tiny tiny screw and like I thought it was gone forever. Picked it up, got it home and then noticed there was like glue on the end of the screw. The other two screws holding on the same bit of the gimbal. This is a 200 pound thing. They didn't have any glue on so I think it was like a botched repair or like a factory refurb that's gone wrong or anyway I can't quite work out if the person is doing it on purpose or they've bought a faulty one and then tried to sell it to me in good faith. Anyway, it means I don't have the gimbal anymore, which sucks. But I have ordered, on recommendation from Dustin Klein, the uh, grill in mouth GoPro thing. Now, cleaning your bike is a thing that I think people overcomplicate quite a lot. There's also a million different products out there that I think most of them you don't need. There is one though, that's the most used thing that I used at least when I was working as a mechanic in the workshop all the time for everything. And that is in this box. Whoa. Now they sent this to me for free. So consider it an advert. GT85. I use this for so many different things and not all of them bike related. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how I use it during the cleaning process of my bike. Now there's videos out there already that cover super deep cleaning of bikes. The cleaning method I'm going to show you today is quick, easy and needs to be done immediately after your ride. If you get in straight away and don't leave your bike lying around for too long, it makes it way easier. Oh yeah, I'll uh, show you what's in here soon. Things you will need. Sorry for the noise. Very nice day outside today, so neighbours are screamy. A bucket of water with a squeeze of fairy liquid in it. Other brands are available. A brush. This one's for washing cars. It could be a brush from a dustpan and brush. A can of GT85. Hopefully you haven't lost the straw that it comes with. One clean rag, one dirty rag. Again, doesn't need to be anything special. You can use old t-shirts. I've cut up this piece of towel. Towels are really good for this because they're a little bit rougher and they've got a slightly thicker edge to them. That's really useful in one of the steps coming up. I'm gonna be using this work stand behind me. You don't need to use a work stand, but it is handy to get around the bike and do it a bit more quickly. Maybe you can hang your bike from something which might make it easier. Step number one, you wanna cover your whole bike in soapy water. I always try and stay away from the brake calipers and I try and stay away from the brake rotors as well. But honestly, don't worry too much. I've never had a problem with contamination from just soapy water. Now you want to give the washing up liquid a few minutes to sort of sink in, loosen up all that dirt and then because you're doing it straight away after coming in from a ride, it should all just come off. You haven't got to go nuts with the brush, it's more just a means of getting the soapy water on the bike. This step will get rid of the first layer of mud and dirt that you can see and the bike's going to look a lot better afterwards but we don't want to stop here. Next step, I've now filled up the same bucket with just water. Now you can use a hose for this but not everybody has a hose. Wash all the suds off your frame and wheels and do it like this. Next step. Let the frame dry off a little bit. GT85, spray it on one of your rags and give the frame a wipe over. If there's any little oil marks or like stubborn bits of dirt that just won't come off, GT85 will almost definitely get rid of it and leave your frame nice and shiny. Obviously, you'll be very protective over your frame. I've been doing it this way for years. I did double check with Brown, Protein Mechanic, if it is safe on all frame sets and he said yes, he uses it all the time. Now this does act as a very light lubricant, so you wanna keep it away from your braking surfaces. So if your rim brakes, keep it away from your brake pads and your brake track. If your disc brakes, try to keep it away from your calipers and your discs. That's why you're better off spraying it on a rag instead of spraying it directly on, because you don't know where it's gonna go, if the wind's blowing and that sort of thing. You just wanna reduce those chances of hitting those parts. Don't be afraid to use it all over your chain set and chain, all over both the railers. Try and get the back sides of it if you can. It does make things a little bit easier having your wheels off. Don't forget under here. So easy with a sprayer, this stuff. Next stage, cleaning your cassette. Chain is coming next when we put the wheels back on. While the wheels are off, that's gonna make cleaning this way easier. Take your rag, ideally a towel with a nice edge to it. Take your wheel, wedge it up against the wall. Make a triangle with your knees so it doesn't move. And then you wanna floss in between each sprocket on the cassette. The cassette will naturally spin round and you wanna be working against that to clear out all the dirt. 
definitely much easier than taking your cassette off. And if you don't have the tools, this is your option. The more often you do this kind of clean, the less effort it is. So whenever I come back from a rainy ride or every two or three dry rides, I try and do this. If you leave the cassette, but still clean the chain, it ends up all spreading around and you end up with a whole dirty drivetrain again. Now for this bit, you need this and the straw. I told you, don't lose the straw. Do as I say, not as I do. Straw. Again, using this straw means you can be much more precise and you won't end up spraying your brakes. Now you wanna look for any pivot points on your bike. So if you've got caliper brakes, which I don't have here, you wanna spray in between the caliper, but you wanna make sure you cover up your pads and don't contaminate them. You can be really sensitive with this button and uh, only let out a tiny little bit because you just want enough to lubricate those pivots and make sure they don't end up seizing. Especially do this if your ride's been wet. I also use this on my pedals, it stops your cleats from creaking around and all the pivots on your front and rear derailleur as well. So think small moving parts. Big moving parts, grease. Small moving parts, this. Chain, chain loop. You can use this as a great way to clean your chain, which you'll see in a minute, but you don't want to leave it on there as your main chain loop. Next bit, wheels back on. Now the wheels are back on, it's gonna make cleaning your chain a little bit easier. You wanna put it in the big ring and on the smaller sprocket on the back. That should mean you can back pedal without any problems. Another spray of GT85 on a rag, on your dirty rag, we're saving the clean rag for something else. I start here on the upper part of the chain, pushing forwards. That means the cassette's holding the chain as you push. Squeeze the chain fairly hard in the rag and massage it a bit with your fingers. And then when you deem that bit of chain clean enough, you can then pull it backwards and work on the next bit. Now the GE85 works as a great cleaner, but it also leaves a little bit of lubricant and stops it from rusting. Water displacer. So if you're really forgetful like me, it doesn't matter if you leave your bike outside now, forget to put your chain lube on, it's not gonna suddenly get really rusty. Just like the cassette, if you do it straight away when you come in from a ride, it's much, much easier. If you let it build up, sometimes it can be a bit of a pain. And the last thing in my super easy bike clean, you need the clean rag for this. This does really need to be a very clean rag. This is for cleaning your disc rotors. The last thing you want to do is contaminate your rotors, making that horrible squealing noise, or even to the point where your brakes stop working properly. So you take your super clean rag and just rub with a dry rag around the rotors. Try not to let your fingers touch them. Now, if they have ended up getting contaminated, you can use proper disc brake cleaner on them. But I've always found this method works really well. You've just got to make sure the rag you use is super, super clean. I'd go as far to say that if you've used it anywhere else on the bike, you can't use it for this. So there you go. Hopefully that proves that you don't need every product under the sun in order to clean your bike. Bucket, brush, soapy water, GT85, can last ages. Covers all the bases. So I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you guys have any suggestions or handy tips related to bike cleaning, put them in the comment section down below. Any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, I promised I'd open Fragili. Fragili, a new toy for the studio. Thank you, James, for the recommendation here. This is what he uses for his bike fit cameras in the studio. And it is, uh, there's so many bits. Ah! This is an articulated arm that I'm gonna stick to the wall in the studio and then have a camera that's top down. Whoa. Top down view. So when I'm reviewing stuff, or we're doing a bike fit Tuesdays, it's an awesome perspective to show you shoes and cleats and stuff like that. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you soon. Mm -hmm.